There, there are things we've had to do to overcome the lack of tests or test procedures that Porsche has. And um, I don't agree with what Porsche's done at the dealerships because they don't have a scientific test to check for a faulty AOS, aero separator. What I did was, I'm not brilliant, I mean they call it the callus method, but all I've done is I've looked at what BMW did and they utilize a manometer. The early on it was called a slack tube tester. It's very simple. And what I did was I connected it and I got empirical data, what's normal. And I took a number of cars and checked to see what was normal. So what I did was I took a manometer, a very fine vacuum gauge. And you may say, Tony, why don't you just use a vacuum gauge? Well, we're, we're measuring in inches of water instead of inches of mercury. Inches of mercury is HG. And um, it's very important that you know that if you check that crankcase vacuum, you don't want to use a regular vacuum gauge because it's something like 12 inches of water per one inch of mercury. So you're not going to really measure, you're at a half an inch of, of, of mercury. So we took a, a manometer and we connected it through the oil cap and we're checking the crankcase vacuum. If this reading, which should be around four to six inches of water, inches of H2O, if this reading is too low or too high, it will affect the fuel trim. It will affect how much fuel the engine gets. Again, it should be around four to six inches of water. Now think about that. If one inch of mercury, like a regular vacuum gauge, is something like 12 to 13 inches of water, and you're looking at four to six inches of water, it's gonna be very difficult to use a regular vacuum gauge. So get yourself a manometer. You can get a CR tools kit, which comes with all of the oil caps for all the Porsches, or you can simply um, discuss this with Ellen Engineering. And um, the reason why we're doing this is it affects the fuel trim. And anything that affects the fuel trim can cause the engine to stumble, to not run properly, to turn on the check engine light, and this is a true test to check that out. If you have anything aftermarket on the engine, as far as like the Ultimate AOS, it can change that empirical data, that reading that we had of four to six. This has an Ultimate AOS. When it didn't, when it had standard AOS, it was just above six inches of, it's, it's negative six inches of water. In this case, it's around negative four. So you have to look at what equipment you have on your engine if it's not stock. You have to look at if you're at sea level or in the mountains, because that'll affect it. All of these things will affect your readings. 